everyone. So as some of you may know, about a year ago, I started to put together and give out what I call care packages. Now I've had different people reach out to me asking about these packages and how I put them together, what I put inside of them, and how I give them out. So I thought I'd go ahead and put together a video that kind of answers all those questions. So here's a variety of the products and items that I use inside of my packages. And over here are Ziploc bags that are pretty much going to be the heart of your care package. Everything begins with a gallon Ziploc bag, and this is what holds everything that I put inside of the care package. Now, I use snack size and sandwich size Ziploc bags for smaller items that I break down into these little packages that I place inside of the larger care package. So what these are are baggies of wipes, tissues, band-aids, and of some napkins and plastic cutlery. And so here you can see the basic bag of plastic cutlery. It's a variety pack. We have the sandwich size Ziploc bags, the snack size, and gallon. I get the variety pack of band-aids. And for the tissues and wipes, I just get the big full-size containers of them. And with each of these, I just take a little bit from each um, box or container and I place them into these Ziploc bags, creating these smaller individualized packages. So once I have these um, all made out, I take my larger gallon Ziploc bag and begin by placing two full-size water bottles in it. Now the items I use and the technique I use is just my preference. It's what I've done with every care packages every care package and what I found works best at keeping everything together yet not squished. So after I place the two um, full-size water bottles inside my package, I take my baggies of wipes, tissues, and band-aids and I place them on top of the water bottles, um, which I find is a great place for them just because they, it doesn't matter if they get squished, so that's a good place for them. After I place that in there, I take two beef jerky or turkey jerky sticks. Um, here, these are Jack's Links, um, but you can see here, this is Slim Jim, which is a completely different brand. Um, whatever brand you use for these things is really your preference. I just kind of grab whatever's available at whatever store I am buying my things at. So I take the two sticks, beef jerky sticks, and I place them under the water bottles where the lids end. As you can see here, they are placed right here on the side under where the water bottle lids are. And after I place those in there, I then place one of these lunch on the go boxes of either chicken salad or tuna salad. And what each box includes is the little can of the actual meal and then some crackers and a small spoon. So I place this in the package right above where the water bottles are where there's the next available space. And after I place the lunch on the go in there, I'll put in some kind of fruit-based snack. So here I have different kinds of fruit cups and different kinds of applesauce. So I have pear and peach and pineapple fruit cups and applesauce, mango sauce, strawberry sauce, um, all kinds of sauce. So again, your preference. So I'm gonna go ahead and take one of these fruit cups and place it in the baggie right next to where the lunch on the go box is where there's the next available space. And once I put my fruit-based snack in there, I'll put some kind of bar or cracker in there. Um, I'll usually go to Costco and buy their bulk size boxes of granola bars or protein bars. Um, here I have peanut butter crackers that I got from Costco, which is what we're gonna use in this package. So I'm gonna grab one of those and place it on top of the Lunch On The Go box where it's cozied up and won't be squished by the water bottles. And last but not least, I'm gonna include that baggie with the plastic cutlery inside of the bag. And I'm gonna place it in a way that will prevent the fork from breaking through the bag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the bulky end and place it in the care package above the fruit cup, but place the handles of the silverware under the crackers so that the crackers can still be seen. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that here. Tuck it in there, and as you can see, bulky ends above the fruit cup, but the handles are under the crackers. So once all of that's in there, I'm gonna close up the bag, 
which concludes the care package and ends up looking like this and ends up going into a box that I keep in my car. So as far as how I give these care packages out, I keep them with me with my, in my car and because I'm usually traveling around South Florida for my job, I am usually able to give them out pretty often just because there is a high homeless population down here and I tend to travel in the areas where um, there are high amounts of homeless people. So if I'm not giving these out at stoplights or parking lots, I'll usually go to the areas here in South Florida where all the homeless people congregate and give out the packages to them personally. So another thing um, before I let you guys go that um, ties into these care packages are smaller lady oriented packages that I put together um, and they include things like tampons, liners, pats, pads, and feminine hygiene wipes. And so I put all those items inside of either a sandwich size or quart size Ziploc bags and keep those separate but in the same box as my care package because not all care packages go to women. More often than not, they go to men. So I keep those two items separate um, so I can give each package out according to whoever I'm meeting or talking to at the moment. So that's a quick overview of my care packages, the process I use for putting them together, and a few of the items that I use inside of them. So I hope I answer all your questions, and if you do have any others, feel free to reach out to me, and I'll be more than happy to answer them.